A suspected Bangladeshi drone was found inside the Indian territory of southern Tripura, that has triggered concern among locals, who fear possible surveillance or cross-border intrusion activities. Indian Army's Eastern Command conducted precision delivery of explosives and grenades via in-house developed FPV drones under an electromagnetic contested environment. The first phase of the Rambili base under Project Versa is almost complete, that will enable the submarines to quietly slip into the Bay of Bengal without detection from spy satellites, and quickly head for deterrent patrols. Defence Ministry has signed a 2,385 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics for the procurement of electronic warfare suites and aircraft modification kits for Indian Air Force's Mi-17 V-5 helicopters. India is cautious about joining the Squad, a new strategic military alliance that includes the US, Japan, Australia, Philippines and possibly South Korea, mainly due to the unpredictability of US policies. Cochin Shipyard held the steel cutting of tugs under the Green Tug Transition Program, marking a step towards net zero emissions by 2047. Solar Industries has announced development of two innovative drone-based mine detection and diffusion systems specifically for the Indian Army. China's largest silent research vessel Dongfang Hong-3, has concluded a month-long survey of the 90 East Ridge in the Indian Ocean region, which is considered an ideal location for submarine operations due to its unique underwater topography. Indian Navy warships participated in a PASIX exercise with the Royal New Zealand Navy in the Gulf of Aden. The gas turbine research establishment has announced that the 110 kN engine slated to power the AMCA 5.5 generation fighter jets will be designed with core upgradability, which will enable it to evolve into higher thrust variants ranging from 125 kN to 145 kN. These advanced iterations are envisioned to propel a heavy class 6 generation platform, aimed at replacing the Indian Air Force's Su-30 fleet from 2045 onwards. This scalability is intended to future-proof the engine, enabling it to power not just the AMCA, but also a heavier and more advanced fighter class in the decades ahead. The DRDO has revealed its plans to develop and demonstrate a 300 kW Surya-directed energy weapon by 2027, that will be ground-transportable and mounted on two 8x8 vehicles with a separate control vehicle for command and coordination, and will counter a range of threats at ranges up to 20 km. The 300 kW power output serves as the foundational module, and there are plans for scalability to achieve megawatt class laser weapon in future variants, that can evolve to meet emerging threats and operational requirements over time. Noida based Lindo Wings Private Limited has developed the LM250 loitering munition system with a range of 25 km, that is designed to be launched from the existing canister of the Pinnaca multi-barrel rocket launcher. The LM250 is optimized for short to medium range missions, providing the Indian Army with the ability to strike targets beyond the line of sight while minimizing exposure to enemy defenses. A single pinnacle canister has been adapted to launch up to 50 LM250 loitering munitions in a single salvo, enabling it to respond to dynamic battlefield scenarios with unprecedented speed and accuracy. Today's Top 3 Comments Thank you.